Welcome to Expo Magic Trick number 699. And if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook, Expo Magic Trick 698 to 702. Wow, we have a wild one here. We want to do lookup, but we have this value to look up, and it's only the code between the first number and the last number. So in essence, we need to somehow always extract everything between the leading and last number and use it as our lookup, right? When we get to here, we need to look up that and we need our formula to do that. So when we copy it down and over, it retrieves all the correct values. So for example, here, this one would be matched against this one and that would return A18, uh, 5, and yes. This is going to be a wild one. Uh, lots of reference videos down here for some of these tricks. First thing is, is it possible, and we'll do this from the inside out, we'll, we'll look at each piece, is it possible to extract all the individual letters, right? So we, D, F, D, S, 4, 2, 3, in an array. If we can do that, then there's a formula that can look up the first number and the last number and give us a position. So let's just uh, mess around here. How about the row function? because we ultimately need to extract 1 to, I think this is 22, this one's probably 23, but they're variable length, so we need some numbers, 1 to 22, 1 to 25, so we use the row. And then the indirect function, that can take a reference as text and convert it back to a reference. Now here we were really interested in the number 1 to 22, so I'm going to do in quotes 1 colon and double quote, and Really, we want 1 to 22, so we'll ampersand, shift 7, that's the join symbol, and then we'll say, just give me the length of this cell, right? Right now, this is just going to give us 1 to 22, I think, F9, 1 to 29, sorry, control Z. But that's, we want that as a reference, indirect, we'll convert it to a reference, F9. I didn't, oh, it's too long, F9. Formula's too long, so we can't do that. But n nevertheless, okay. The that'll be a, 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 a reference, and then row can say how many rows are there. And it will return it, since we're giving it more than one row, it'll return the array F9, 1 to 29, which is what we want. Because ultimately, we're going to use that 1 to 29. That's an array of numbers inside the mid function. I'm going to enter this. I'm make this just a little bit bigger so that it doesn't. Because really, we want to say, hey, mid function, take the starting position 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then 5, all the way to 29, and extract one character. So we'll put this inside of mid. Mid can extract something from a text string. That's the text, comma, the starting numbers is our array, 1 to 29. And then our number of uh, characters will be 1 each time. And then if we highlight this, you can see F9. That gives us everything we want. Now we have an array. But the problem here is that number is in double quotes. That means it's text. And we really need to have it a number. So Control Z. We could do that with double negative or times 1 or something. F9, now we have errors and uh, our actual numbers, which is what we want. We're interested in that position would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the last number, whatever that position is. Control Z. Let's first do the uh, first position, and then we'll do the last position, the last number. So how about is number. Now we get a string of trues and falses, only the numbers, F9, there's the true. So we want that one, which is 5. So Control Z. Well, we can use match. That's an array, right? So we can tell match function, because we're interested in the position, hey, match, please find the, the, the first true. Well, the lookup value will be true. And that's the array. What do we want? Now, we're interested in the first one. So the match type is always, when there's duplicates and you want the first one, 0. Now, this is an array, so we Control Shift Enter. There it is. We got a 5. <clears throat> now, let's get our next part. We're interested in this, because the next part is the last one. The last number. And we're still going to use equals match comma, and then there's our array, right? F9. Well, we can 
the trick for match, looking up the first one is we did a true and, and we said duplicates. But if you have an array of numbers and you want the last number, no matter what it is, if you put in a number bigger than whatever the last one is, it'll always take the last one. So Control Z. Now, this is um, a bunch of stuff in the cell. So y you can put whatever big number you want here. Whatever the lookup value is, just got to be big enough. So for us, our server addresses are never bigger than 1,000. So I'm going to put 1,000 characters. You know, if you want to be, uh, you could put 9.9e plus 307. And that's approximately the biggest number that Excel can handle, or whatever number you want there. Now. Comma again, it's the match type that's so important. We want this one, the one which is an approximate match like uh, VLOOKUP does, but that's the default, so we don't have to put it in there. Uh, close parentheses and then Control Shift Enter. That gives us 18. Now, mid is going to need, hey, give me the the mid will say what characters you want, what's the starting position, and how many. Well, the difference between these 18 minus 5 will give us one too few because we want to include the first one or the last one, whatever your point of view is. So let's do, and I'm going to keep these down here. So uh, equals mid of this text right here. Oh, now I want to do it here so we can copy it down. Equals mid, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that text right there, comma, what's the starting number? I'm just going to select that comma, the number of characters. This is where we got to do that uh, big number minus the uh, smaller number plus 1. And that'll give us uh, this one. I can just do uh, Enter and copy it down. We're not going to keep it like that. Oh. Um, I forgot to lock them, but that's not really. I want. We could see that that works. Uh, what we really want is we want to take these formulas in these cells and paste them there, there, and there. So I'm going to uh, put this into edit mode. The small number will be first. Control CC. If your clipboard doesn't open, then open your clipboard from the home ribbon right there. And please set the options to. Uh, show, you can't quite see it, but right down here, it says Show Office Clipboard when CC pressed twice. I'm going to clear all, and I'm going to copy this again. Control C, Escape. Control C without the equal sign, Escape. I'm going to come up here. Oh, I didn't lock any of those. I'm going to clear these. We actually ultimately going to need the, this locked um, going across the column because we're going to look up that way. So I'm going to uh, F4 like that, F4 like this. It won't be locked going down, but when we slap this big thing into our lookup function, it has to be locked across the columns. And then Control, uh, Control Shift Enter. I'm going to change this one too. I think that's all. Yeah, Control Shift Enter. And now I'm going to scoop it out, copy, escape. Copy, escape. Now come up here, and this is going to get big. Okay. The small number right there is the match true. Notice you can double click, and uh, it highlights that cell reference, and then the true. And then finally, the big one right there, that's that one. Wow, that's a huge formula. You can never build that from scratch. Well, some people can, but not us. Control, Shift, Enter. And uh, that is the heart of this formula. So what it's done is, I'm going to close this now. It, it, what it's done is it's extracted everything between the first number and the last number, which is our criteria for our code. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this. Copy. Remember, that is our look up value, copy. And we're going to do it two ways. We're going to come over here. And we need, um, how about just VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. And just before I slap that lookup value in there, why don't I just click there, just to keep it simple. And then we'll come back and change it. The table array. Now, there is a problem here. Notice this is all text. Anytime you use you know, mid or any of those functions left, they extract as text. So that number is actually text. When we try to match it in the first column of VLOOKUP, that is a number. And that number is not equivalent to that number as text. 
So what are we going to do? I'm going to keep that table there. I'm going to hit F4 to lock it. And I'm going to convert everything in this table inside the formula to text by going ampersand double quote. And we'll look at an alternative to this in just a moment. That's our lookup table, comma, the column index. Well, lookup, and so we need one, two, three. One, two, three. So as we copy this way, we need a number incrementer. So columns. I'm sitting in D. Actually, I'm going to make this one easy. Well, no, well, D, so dollar sign, D2, colon, D2. That gives us 1, but that is not the first lookup. It's 2, so I'm going to plus 2, uh, 1. That's the column index, comma, and the range. We definitely need f um, approximate match, which is 0, close parentheses. All right, now we got that. That would work. Now we double click here and control V. Monster. That is a monster. Notice that by building it in pieces and using the clipboard, we can, uh, whoever looks at this will go, wow, did you type that out? And of course you don't say, yeah, I typed it out. If you didn't type it out, you say, no, I used this cool, you know, um, clipboard trick. Control Shift Enter. Now there will be a slight problem, which may not be a big problem, but as we copy it over, um, looks like we have a problem there. Oh, I see the problem. We left out one of the C2's. Control Shift Enter. So now if I copy this over, boop, double click and send it down so it extracts everything perfectly. Approximate match. Now, the problem is if you really need these as numbers, because notice those are numbers, there's a pretty straightforward alternative. Um, we're going to use index, and we will we will keep uh, we'll convert this lookup column in the index to text, but leave the um, actually it's match. The index is going to use these, so we will leave those the same, and then the the match column for this will convert to text. So you ready? Just a slight variation on that formula equals index. index and the array to return is this. Now, when we copy it down, we need it locked, but not to the, co the side, so we need it to move, so F4, F4 to lock that. That remains just as it is, comma, and now row number, match. I'm going to do that same trick again where I just click on a cell to keep it simple while we do it. We're going to replace that in just a moment, comma, the lookup array this right here, F4, and this is where we need to ampersand double quote to match that number. We convert it to text with that ampersand to match it against that value, that lookup value, comma. And s s we need to use a exact match, close parentheses, close parentheses. Now, we double click here and control V, and we have to change that one right there to F4, F4, F4. Control, Shift, Enter. And now the advantage of this is it will in, re, uh, retain the integrity of the actual data type. So text will be returned as text, and numbers will be returned as numbers. All right, uh, that's a wild uh, formula there. Um, it's, it's amazing that we have things like this in the working world that we need to do. but. Uh, uh, if you know a little Excel magic, you can get it done. All right, see you next trick.